Hello everyone, and this is Emily here, bringing you part four of Soma. Um, we made it to Lamba, safe and sound. Um, that's where Catherine wanted us to meet her, apparently. So, my Omni tool keeps getting taken out for some reason. Do I swipe it here, or did I already do it in the last episode? Ah! Oh. Well, no, that, that's no good. That's not gonna do us any good. Why in the world did I just sentence Simon to death by drowning? No, do it again. Well, that's stupid. Now let's try this again. I think we got off this episode on the wrong foot. Come on. I've got more sense than that. All right, there we go. Now, as I was saying, we arrived to Lamba, safe and sound, where Catherine wanted us to meet her. Catherine, the mysterious woman on the radio, apparently knows it all. Ooh. It's an interesting looking place. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> that was that kind of took me by surprise there. I did jump a little bit. Just just a little. Catherine? Catherine, was that you? Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Look at what? Catherine quit playing these games. Holy crap, I see it. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I don't want to look at that either. Holy freaking crap. Holy crap! What do I do, man? I'm trying to hide. Can I get in here? Please go away. I beg you. Oh, wow. That was pretty frightening. I'm taking your word, Catherine. I swear to you, if it is not safe... Okay, can we go in here? No. Yes, Catherine. I am here. Hold your freaking horses. I'm just making sure this place is safe before I settle down. What's over here? Ooh. Nah. Okay, plug in Omni tool to operate. Operate what? Where are you at, Catherine? Am I missing you? Holy crap. Catherine. Right here. Ho! Oh! No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's yeah, you're left. screwed, Simon. Oh, screwed. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a you racist, Simon. Some electronics left on for good measure. I, I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty. Could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can focus much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omni tool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh, yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can the door opener. cortex chip and put it into the Omni tool. What's a cortex chip? It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just, I need you to do this one thing for me. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Cather. <laughs> Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right. 
Give this a try. Catherine, this relationship is moving a little too fast. I think we should slow things down before we start taking each other chips and putting them in slots. Okay, I guess I can go over here now and load it into my Omni tool. Ta-da! Cool. I'm in the Omni tool. Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. Hmm. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots are they yeah, kind of weird. Kid? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Okay, Catherine. I'll do what it. Said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Whoa is right. All right. So I gotta go find this data file. Apparently, according to Catherine, she keeps bossing me around, telling me I'm not human and stuff. Okay, this is a shuttle station. Is this where we came from? I don't know. Yeah, it ain't gonna hurt to have a look around anyway. Does make any sense, right? You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Well, you see, my mommy and daddy, they loved each other, and then one day... So pretty. Not really. Not really. What happened before? That creature was overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. Check, that's bad. Electromagnetism. That's a big word. Data recovered. All right, okay. Progress, 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 progress. All done. Okay. Opinion poll, arc environments, arc skinabits, collaboration survey, and arc tracker. Okay, let's start from the top. Are you excited about the arc? Yes, I am. Go to the second one and play it. What are your thoughts on the arc? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of um about the arc reaching space? Well, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem: how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think 
To me, anytime we go to the extremes to want to pres preserve the human race, to the extremes of wanting to scan their brains and put them into robots and then launch them into outer space, you have to think of the gazillion things that could go wrong. So my thoughts about the arc is that, you know, it didn't end like it was supposed to, of, of course, and I think they all realize that now. Yep. Is this from inside the arc? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Item keyword, mixed delicious forest. So kind of like a, a sanctuary or a heaven of some sorts was this arc perceived as um, amongst the people. Okay, arc schematics. I'm just looking through here real quickly. All kind of buildy things. Collaboration survey. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the ARC. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. Okay. Will do. How would you describe your physical condition? Not dead. No, I feel normal. I feel invigorated a better version of myself i feel alien i'm a visitor inside another body i feel fake no longer a real person hmm i feel aliened how would you describe your mental condition ha <laughs> that's funny i feel normal i feel disconnected a separation of mind and body i feel altered a change in character i feel lost i don't exist anymore i think i feel pretty lost right now how would you describe your senses? As expected, normal. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked as if my senses are numb. I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses. Let's see. I think I feel more sensitive because I go around wanting to touch things all the time. Okay. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it. Something is wrong. It's discontent. Turning, everything feels constructive. Depressed and I can't shake the feeling of, of it all being fake. Hmm. I think it's pretty pleasant if you ask me. I can breathe underwater. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? No, I feel fine. Someone, I feel like I lost myself. Yes, I mourn my previous existence. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. Sure, why not? How do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation of my previous self like a new chapter in my life it's like being born all over again a complete do-over it's something completely different it has nothing to do with my previous self well obviously do you think this new existence will be a life worth a life worth living yes just as much as my previous lies yes but with less meaning maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world no it's too detached from reality and everything i know yeah i'm pretty optimistic would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No, maybe. I need to think about it. Yes. Heck no, I don't want to die. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. Thank you for having me. Okay. Art tracker. That's not like, a tracker. Uh, oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Hmm. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let me safe. <laughs> ha! Getting closer. Yay! Okay. Select. I don't know. Right in here. Holy crap, that was pure luck. I like it. Okay. Lambda theater, I don't know. I'm in Lambda right now, let's try. Nope. Oh, getting close. Woohoo. Okay. Nah. Success! 
I did it. I'm the best gamer ever. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh uh, no, it's our Earth. Oh no, not that ugly place. We got to it. Could could we get on the ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Well, thanks for telling me that. Okay, how do I get out of here? Okay. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sorta. Of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there, and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. I don't either, Simon. You're you overestimating yourself. Let's launch the arc. We need to find a way to get into the abyss. We can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe Stick your finger and trip. fist into things. That's what's to do. Yeah. Just have a look around. Push comes to... Java walked in. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. I won't forget you, Catherine. We're best buddies now. The best of buddies. Come pick me up. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Sure. Okay. Alrighty. Guess we're off to Theta then. Let's hit the road. Guess we can go back to the shuttle or... How does that work? Ooh, what's in here? Haha, <laughs> another hole! Aw oh, man. Can't touch that one. Can I go back in here? I guess not. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see where we're supposed to go. This door right over here. Don't worry, Catherine. We will help you succeed in your mission. <laughs> and of course I did it again. I just love it. How backwards I am. I guess I go this way. We're gonna try it. Time to go swimming! Nothing like a good old swim. At 12 o'clock in the morning. Get away! Alright, well here's a door over here. I'm not sure if that's the one we're supposed to go to, but we're gonna try it. Huh. It's a pretty cozy place. Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Yeah, get to work, Catherine. Making me do all the physical labor around here. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Alright, let's follow the light. Oh, there's one of those little robot thingies over there. Let's stay clear from him, shall we? 
Just in case he ain't as friendly as I am. Can't be a friendly robot, you shouldn't be a robot at all. As I always say. Okay. I hope I'm going the right way. It'd be a, be it would be a shame if I spent all this time going the complete opposite way. Hey, you don't know until you try. Oh yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way if something's gonna jump out at me like that. Yes. I'm just gonna hide in this seaweed over here until he decides to calm down. Holy freaking crap. I just had a slender man moment there, okay? I almost just completely freaked out. But I kept it together, so I'm proud of myself. Proud. Okay, I think I can stop crouching now. I'm a tool to action. Right. Seems like a nice-ish place. Just gonna gently open this and hopefully nothing bad happens. Climbing a ladder. Climbing a ladder. Okay. Um, I meant to say this earlier, but I just ordered Sony Vegas Pro. And it should be here by Monday. And I'm also planning on starting a whole new Let's Play series. So I can have face cam now. And that will probably be a completely different experience for everybody in my Let's Plays. And I'm really excited about doing it because it's going to be pretty awesome. Having my face in there and everything. So just keep an eye out for that. It, within the next couple of weeks, I should have a new a new video up and a new series going and everything. I haven't decided on the game yet. I'm going to kind of keep it on the low low until I do. But just keep an eye. Just keep an eye out. But I have many great things planned for my channel in the future. I'm so excited to have everyone who has supported me um, and tell me what a good job I'm doing. I know I'm completely new at this and I know that I probably don't act like I know or seem like I know what I'm doing. And that's because I'm not. I'm just kind of winging it. Just doing what I love to do. So I want to just thank everybody for watching and um, every comment, every little... Whoa, okay, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> that is my cue to shut the hell up. Just thanks for watching, okay? Just thanks. Holy crap, where is he at? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. And what sucks is I didn't see anything, so I'm kind of just... Just patiently waiting for a jump scare to happen at any moment while I'm walking. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh my gosh, I've been going through this whole game and forgot I had a flashlight. What an idiot. Which it really doesn't help that much anyway. Underwater, but still though, I don't can't believe I forgot that I had that. I could have needed that at some point and could have been completely screwed without it, so Dumb move on my part. Okay. Oh, scary music alert. Is 
this game is going all freaking sci-fi on me and everything with this scary Jason-like music and vibrating screens. One reason why I like it so much, I guess. The scarier, the better. Which I've played scarier games than this, but still. It still has that eerie vibe to a game that I like. A game shouldn't have to always depend on jump scares to scare you. And this is one of those games that have proven that. I've had very to none jump scares in this game. But just the eerie vibe that the environment gives off is enough to scare the heck out of me. Ooh, does this open? No. It won't budge. Crap. Okay, I'll make sure that I wasn't crawling. Ooh, this one does though. Okay everyone, this is a great place to end part 4. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Part 5 will be up really soon. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.